I thought while I had this UPS out, I may as well explain how a sine wave UPS works. I guess before doing that, I'll quickly go over how a conventional UPS works. I've got a diagram drawn out here. Basically got a battery, an H bridge of MOSFET switches, which you can see over here. There's four uh, banks. These MOSFETs are all in parallel. Uh, then you've got the main transformer, which in this case is uh, these two, run in parallel. And going to the, uh, the transformer drive would just drive the output directly in a uh, conventional UPS. And the uh, each bridge would be switched with a simple uh, square wave at 60 hertz. And that would go straight through to the output powering your device. And the way the each bridge works is uh, basically there's on the, out on the input you've got three states. There's either zero volts, positive voltage or negative voltage. So to produce that, to produce zero volts, you turn both bottom switches on. And that effectively creates a short circuit across the transformer, creating zero volts. Or you can turn one top one on and one bottom one on. That will connect one side of the transformer to the positive battery voltage. That's usually either 12, 24, or in some big units like this one, 48 volts. And the other one, other MOSFET, connects the uh, other side of the transformer to ground, and vice versa for the other polarity. This one would be on, and this one, connecting this side of the transformer to positive and this side to negative. Now, to make a sine wave output, what they do is actually quite ingenious. All they basically have to do is put a capacitor across the output and change how you drive the uh, H-bridge. So, what they do to produce a sine, wave, uh, a sine wave on the output of the UPS is to pulse the H-bridge on and off at high frequency, about typically around 20 kilohertz, and vary the uh, width of the on pulses over the uh, sine cycle. So there'll be na narrow pulses uh, at the beginning of the cycle, getting wider up to uh, maximum width at the top, and then getting narrower again. And they switch polarity and do it the other polarity for the negative half cycle. And I'll see if I can draw that in here. Okay, this is about as well as I can draw it. By the, uh, I think it'll be a lot more obvious when I show it to you on the scope. So let's get this thing running. Just turn off the AC so it'll start in UPS mode. Get rid of the beep when it comes up. There we go. And I'll start the scope running. Uh, I've got it connected, I've got channel 1 yellow on the output voltage over here, and channels 2 and 3 green and blue on the uh, 2, two H-bridge transformer uh, inputs here. And I switched the scope from uh, the one earlier because this one has four channels, the other one only has two. And the screen also shows up a bit better. It doesn't have that rolling... Uh, thing from the CRT. So let's start this running. You can see there's a nice sine wave output. And these are the uh, voltages on the, each node of the transformer here. If we just let's zoom in on just one, concentrate on one of the cycles, then on top, and just stop it. We can zoom in at the near the beginning. You can see there's uh, pulses are relatively narrow and as we go over farther they get wider and wider and wider as we go closer into the uh, center. I think we're pretty much near the peak now. So you're right at the peak they're pretty wide. As the battery voltage goes down these uh, pulses have to widen further to get the desired output voltage. And what they do is when the polarity switches, let's get a better view of that, there we go. When they switch polarity, one of the uh, outputs stop, one of these outputs here would stop switching, would stay at ground, and the other one will start switching. Let's see what the other one then goes up and does the same, uh, does the same thing, varying duty cycle as you go along. I should be able to show some high quality uh, captures of this right now.
Now, you might be wondering why the high frequency component seen on the input of the transformer doesn't make it to the output. That's where this capacitor and some internal leakage inductance in this transformer come in. The leakage inductance and capacitor form a low pass filter that greatly attenuates the high frequency uh, 20 kilohertz or so switching, uh, switching voltage, but doesn't attenuate the low frequency um, average voltage component over this, because the average value of the waveform is higher near the peaks and lower uh, near the zero crossings. But this filter is not perfect. If we look on the scope here, zoom in quite closely, I'll probably get you a better shot of this, but you can see some uh, rippliness. If we make it bigger, let's see if we, yeah. Now we can actually see it quite quite well. That ripple voltage is about how much? If I set the probe attenuation right, let's just fix that. It's a hundred to one probe. That ripple voltage is about 10 volts per division, so what about 3 volts peak, which is not too bad. If we look in the UPS, you can see the uh, output capacitors. These are two uh, 4.7 microfarad caps, probably in the Those are uh, this one here. And there's one thing I've left out of this drawing, and that's how they connect up the AC mains to this. So what they do, one side connects straight up to the, uh, let me get a better pen. Yeah, one side connects straight up to the transformer. The other side um, has basically three relays. And these have, there's actually multiple taps on this transformer. One goes to there, one goes to there, and one goes to there. And the reason they do that is so that they can compensate for uh, line voltage variations. So if the line voltage is too high, they'll switch off this relay, switch on this one, which will form a, an auto transformer slightly dropping the voltage. And likewise, if the voltage is too low, they'll switch off that one, switch on the uh, this one, which will create an auto transformer that slightly raises the voltage. And I'll demonstrate that right now. What I'm going to do here is turn down the variac, uh, and then turn up the variac, and show you how the unit switches uh, taps to adjust the voltage. I'll just set this in the scope. This is regular 208 volt in. And as we decrease it, you can see the amplitude decreases, and eventually the UPS will turn on and then switch the relay over and then turn back off again. There we go. That just switched. Now we'll go back up. We'll switch back to the normal range. Go up farther. Now it's switched into the uh, other range, lowering the voltage. I think the reason the, uh, the UPS switches to uh, backup mode while between switching these relays is to reduce the chance of uh, having an arc start between them. Because if you quickly close open one and close the other, you could get an arc, and then you'd have a closed circuit that could uh, allow the arc to melt down the relay. And it's probably also uh, the switch over time from uh, mains to batteries faster than the switch over time from one uh, mains really to the other, giving, if you allow enough time for the uh, one contact to open before the other closes. Another ingenious thing they do with the circuit is they can charge the battery without any additional parts, no separate battery charger. And how they do that is when you have mains connected and you have voltage across the transformer, you quick, at a very high uh, frequency, low duty cycle, you turn on both bottom FETs, effectively shorting out the transformer, so you have basically the volt output voltage across the leakage inductance that'll cause the uh, current to build up quickly and then when you turn off one of these FETs 
the current will continue to flow because the inductor resists the change of current. The current will flow up through the body diode in this FET into the battery and the current will then uh, ramp down again. And they repeat this at about 20 kilohertz and that uh, puts current from the mains into the battery again without any additional uh, components or any additional cost. So the, overall this circuit is quite ingenious. And here's a view of uh, operation in charge mode where the short circuit or the transformer turn on both FETs and release the trim one off, the voltage flies up, the current flows into the battery and for the rest of the cycle it does nothing. So I hope you found this video on sine wave UPS operation interesting. Thanks for watching.